so today we are talking about uh, travel gear, art travel gear. So I'm sure some of you are parents who are watching. I'm sure some of you are totally not. But I know that all of us travel from time to time, whether it be on airplanes or trains uh, oh, or in their cars. And I know I spend a lot of time in carpool. You might spend a lot of time at your kids' practices or rehearsals. Um, and instead of sitting on my phone all day, I really like to draw little sketches in my journals. It's just a really good meditative, therapeutic, chill way to spend my uh, the otherwise kind of stressful, boring moments. So I have put together, um, I wanted to show you guys my three go-to travel packs. I'm going to, I'm going to pack them up for you right now and show you what you can do with like super duper minimal supplies. Okay. The first one is called my wet pack. And that is because if you're in the mood to paint, while you're traveling or like you're used to painting and you don't want to be caught without anything to paint with, um, this is going to be your go-to stash. <clears throat> so all I'm going to use, all I'm going to allow myself to use is this little pencil pouch, which I don't know, it's about eight inches. Certainly can fit in your purse, no problem. Um, and let's see. You need to get yourself, if you're, obviously if you're painting or working with wets, you're going to need uh, watercolor paper versus, you know, you're not going to use sketchbook paper because that would be a disaster. You could also use a uh, multi multimedia journal like this little moleskin one. Um, look, look how little that is. See, it's just smaller than my little pencil pouch. Um, so these journals you can buy in all sorts of different sizes. This one... Um, I use for my Daniel Donaldson class. I love it because it's small and there's like a gazillion pages so I know I can just keep working and working in this and it will just have more and more opportunities to fiddle around with it. No, I don't do anything serious in this. I just, honestly, this is like my carpool sketchbook when I just need to relax and do some doodles. So what goes into this pouch that I would be able to be doing this many pieces of artwork in? Well, I'm here to answer your question. First of all, you probably need a little pencil of some sort. So there you go, boom, one pencil. Um, if you're using mechanicals, you don't even need these two items. You can take these right on out of there. Um, you absolutely need a water brush because you're not gonna be carrying around water. Maybe you are, but that seems like a pain because as soon as you use it for your brushes, you're not gonna be drinking out of it. So. The Pentel makes these fantastic water brushes. I cannot even recommend these enough. Now, a lot of different people make a lot of different water brushes. These are by far superior. I've tried all of them and I just, there's really zero comparison. They're the easiest to refill. They're the easiest to use. You just screw the top off, pour the water in right from the tap. There's no weird extra valves or questionable parts. Screw that sucker on turn it upside down, give it a squeeze. And I think my favorite thing is that it sort of stays loaded with water. Some other products or pens, I cannot figure out how to get a steady, slow, uh, steady flow out of them and it drives me crazy. These I fill up, I apply just barely a light pressure and it's like just a constant steady flow of water. These are really squishy, which is I think their secret sort of secret sauce when it comes to making these pens work so well. Um, so you can buy a three pack on Amazon for like 12 bucks. It, it's, and you'll use them over and over and over and over again. The three pack they sell, again, it's Pentel, P-E-N-T-E-L, um, comes with three width, three different widths, tips. I like the medium one. I use that the most. Although for these little teeny tiny watercolors, you can certainly use the small one too. I tend to work larger in general, but... Again, if I'm sitting in carpool and I just want to pass the time and chill out a little bit, I love bringing these with me. Um, so what paints are you going to be dragging around in your car or an airplane? You have like two square inches of room when you're on an airplane to work. And the, that your answer is you can go out and you can buy this little travel pack. Lucas makes these. I don't, I don't even know who else makes them. People, they're definitely made by different various 
paint manufacturers. Um, as you can tell, this one has been well loved and worn. It comes with these little removable um, cake pans that you can actually buy lots of. But these come in like a, this is like a pre determined set that I just bought right off. It was like $14 off the shelf. So I love this. You can, oh, she is hideous. But when I'm out and about, like, oh, see, I have my kids are drawing in here too. Um, she was done with a Tombow marker. Um, all you need is a little, little water brush. You, uh, you can dip your, let me zoom in for you. You just give this a little squeeze and you are totally in like Flynn ready to rock and roll with your, with your watercolors. Look at that. And all you have is your pencil from your pencil pouch. You can do your sketch and then you can start drawing right away. Sometimes you can take a little paper towel. Honestly, sometimes I just use my hand and I just, um, if I really have no other supplies, I just wipe this on my hand. It's probably also why my clothes are all disgusting. And I wanted to show you one other thing. So my friend Carrie Scholes is an artist who like, lives in Virginia and she has come up with like the cutest thing ever and I'm telling you this because one it makes the greatest gift she's gifted me three of these and for which I am super duper grateful um they're great because they're cute they're great because they are useful and they are great because they are very generous um if you have your own watercolors that you would like to try out or take with you that you can't live without but you don't want to take your gigantic you know, you don't want to take your regular watercolor palettes. I have many of these. I'm not going to take these on the road. That's super annoying. What you can do is, and what she did is, um, look, I can't even get over these. Look at these little Altoid tins. So she has these, made these little Alto Altoid tins. And she, this one, this is like genius. This is like a chiclet gum or some gum brand that she has hot glued into the bottom of this. And look at these, look at this one. She has glued on here these little metal, cute, ski see Karen's watercolors. Like, are you kidding me right now? And then she went and bought these individually that you can buy. I know they sell these at Jerry's Autorama. I'm sure they sell them at Dick Blick and wherever. You probably have to look around for them, but they're watercolor pans. And she glued them into the bottom and then she squirted me these like Mac Daddy Daniel Smith watercolor and Windsor Newton colors that I did not have in mine and she knew I didn't have them. And she was so generous and she squirted them into little pans for me so I could try the colors out. Now are you kidding me? Now each squirt of these, I know it doesn't look like much but A, they last way longer than you would ever imagine and B, I don't know if you're familiar with Daniel Smith, but these watercolors can be like $35 for one little tiny tube. So this is probably $10 a squirt in here. So huge shout out to Gary um, for her thoughtfulness of her generosity. You can check out her artwork and her, um, what she has got going on on her Instagram and her Facebook page. I'll put the links I'll put the links in the caption right now. Thank you, Carrie. So I thought that was just genius. Look at this one. It has a little bow on the bottom. How cute would this be to give to somebody who you know loved art? Whoop! there it is. Look how cute that is. Boom, more colors. So thoughtful, so nice. And I mean, could you get any handier? Check this out. These are so small, but like I said, their sizes are small, but the amounts of paint in here are not small. Look at this. I could take, I could literally, boom, boom. I could take all of those with me. And my two water pens. Dude, I could even put in an eraser if I had a regular, and a pencil sharpener if I had a regular thing. Regular pencil with me. And I have my journal and that, and I just shove that in my purse or my kid's backpack and I'm good to go. I mean, come on, that's just the best. All right, so that is number one. Number two, I'm going to work from wet to dry. My second go-to set, which I love, 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 that I'm happy to introduce you to is, I'm going to call, this is like my semi-wet set. 
Um, I'm going to take my these things out of my pencil pouch to show you how easy this one is as well. All right, so for this little set, you are going to still need your watercolor pen. All right, so I got my pen towels again. For this one, I'm going to use a mixed media moleskin, moleskine by Strathmore. This is multimedia paper. Um, and what I love about multimedia, pa mixed media paper, sorry, I don't, I don't, I do not use it for watercolors. I, I have to say I'm kind of a paper, I'm not a paper snob, but I don't, for me, it's not absorbent enough um, for my watercolors. It is, however, awesome if you're doing sort of light, uh, light water work, if you will. Oh, my little scribble stitch. And I will show you, uh, I'll show you what I mean for that too. So what I mean by that is, so this is little, again, we've established it's about, I don't know, what is that, six inches maybe? Throw again, throw it in your purse, throw it in your carry-on. And I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but these are sort of magical pencils. They are made by Faber-Castell. They are graphite, but they are also water soluble. Hello! So the possibilities just kind of got endless. So not only can you do regular graphite sketches, but you can activate those suckers with a little water from your water brush and suddenly you just went from a boring sketch to a sketch with depth and value changes and drama. And um, again, look how easy this is to pack up. You need a pencil sharpener, but, um, and here's a pencil in ranges. I bought a set, I think it was like at AC Moore. They're really expensive, but I had that 50% off coupon and boom, not so expensive anymore. Tuck those in here and, uh, you know, dude, you're good to go. And look how much, you even have a ton of space left for chapstick and whatever. All right, so, and I will show you, I'm gonna give you a little demo, because while everybody knows how watercolors work, I don't know that everybody knows how um, these, these ones work. These are so cool. Um, let me get to a blank page. Um, let's see. They're essentially just watercolor pencils. It's really what they are. But they're all graphic. You know what, I can't remember. Oh, I couldn't remember if you could erase, which is kind of a dumb question, but because they're so special and being able to be activated, I couldn't remember if you could, but you can also erase them. So they really are like magic pencils because you can use them. Uh, you don't have to ever activate them with water if you don't want to. So they're regular pencils, but if you want to get a little crazy, uh, you certainly can. So I'm using the HB to draw my little sketch. possibilities are in with with these things and again you're like traveling with nothing you can throw that in your purse um, easy peasy so this is set number two all these pencils you can do two different you can do two different water pens in here I mean heck 
pack your blender stick if you feel like it. You got a pencil sharpener, eraser, boom. You're set for practically the whole summer. You could also, remember these, throw in one of those if you wanna have both options. Again, still plenty of room in that teeny tiny bag. And that is option number two. Okay, now I'm going to talk about option number three which is a little so. bit more exciting than just regular sketch paper and a couple of pencils and an eraser because i know that's probably what you're thinking yeah, yeah yeah blah 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 dry pencils small set but here's the twist to this i recommend using um toned a toned sketchbook. If you're gonna go dry and you wanna bring limited supplies, why not change up your paper? Um, and the reason I like to use toned paper is that you can, with very, very limited and no color supplies, bring three different um, values to your drawings, right? You have the black, the darkest one. The paper then gives you your mid-tone, and then you get to bring a white and have a lot of fun playing around with splashy highlights and whatnot. So I personally think that that is wicked fun. You might be like, that's a lot of work. I don't really understand. And I'm gonna do a quick, a quick sketch for you to show you what I mean. But um, if you're out and about and you see a toned sketchbook, um, grab one because they're pretty fun to play with. This is a Strathmore. These are very expensive, but they also last a long time. Um, you can also, again, go to Michael's or whatever and bring your 50% off and then guess what? They're half price. Um, or go to Dick Blick probably has some good prices. Jerry Ar Jerry's Artorama if you're in the States. I have not checked Amazon, so I'm not sure. Um, but I really, really, really am in love with the, what the white can do for you on these pages. I think it's super um, a fun way to play with, again, like really, really, whoa, what? Wiki, wiki, what? I know, I'm so weird. But like I did this, I think my son was at like Taekwondo, his Taekwondo lesson, and I was bored out of my mind. And I completely amused myself drawing this picture. And the tools I had with me were one Sharpie, uh, one Posca pen, or white water-based Sharpie, they're equivalent, um, and gosh, I did not get myself ready for number three, and a smaller Sharpie, here, let me grab one, and a Sharpie of this size. Boom, that's all I had, that's it. And you could go on for days just with these three, a fat Sharpie, a thin Sharpie, and that's it. Oh, and also, glad I turned the page. Um, you could use, go the marker route. You can also do um, work in China markers, which I love as well. So this is another thing. It's the same thing. It's just a lot more subtle. So the white is not as white. The black is, is black, it's just, um, it's not as saturated as a Sharpie. So here's another one showing the lights <clears throat> and the darks. This is another one, two, one, two, three supply drawing. Um, I didn't even know she was back there. Again, oh. This is where I use graphite with my blending tool and again the white. The white it's like all about the white. The white just makes it pop out. So I'll do one quickly and then you can see what I mean.
my third favorite way to travel with the least amount of supplies. So again, I have my tone journal. I have my handy dandy pencil sack. And again, I have a white and a china marker, white and a Sharpie or a Posca pen, black, black, black. And look at this, plenty of room. I could put my cell phone in there. I could put, I, could, I still got plenty of room to go. Um, you could also bring your dry and your wet set together in the same pouch with your mixed media journal and your tone journal. If you're going to be away for a really long time and you want to have options still, I mean, do it. It's like so, so small. I can flip that in any person, anytime. Thank you so much. I hope you thought that that was remotely helpful. Um, if you did, you can totally leave me comments. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you have a favorite go to, uh, travel pack, please. I would love to hear what you guys are carrying around with you. Um, if you have an idea for another video, I would also love to hear that too. Um, subscribe to see more. I'm trying to do one video a week. Um, so I need lots of ideas. So keep them coming. I really appreciate everyone's kind remarks in the past. You guys are so nice and supportive and I really appreciate that. Have a great day you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.